If you guys have seen my previous videos from a long time ago, you guys know I like motorcycles. And I built one, this one right here. And I had to sell that bike because I needed money at the time. Today, we are picking up something new. Let's go check it out. And before I go ahead and show you the motorcycle that I got, I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate all the support. Like, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys, so thank you so much. I know a lot of you guys follow the channel for Jeep content, but if you look back, my first videos were actually based on motorcycles. I actually used to watch a lot of motor vloggers, like Do It With Dan, Baker X Derek, Chase on Two Wheels. This is like back in the day. And that's what I wanted to do on YouTube when I started, but we ended up switching over to the Jeep. I've had a Jeep since I was in high school, so that's what I made the content on, but I did start with the motorcycle that I built. So if you're interested in that, go check out those videos. They'll be linked down below, but let's go ahead and show you the motorcycle I got. And also Chris got one too, so we can actually go riding together. So you're probably gonna see some videos on that. Even though we are an off-road channel, I still wanna post it. The bike is actually not here right now, but we do have this one, which is similar. The only difference is the other one has knobby tires and different handlebars. It's one of these. It's a different color too. I'll show you once I get it. All right, guys. So I just finished up my paperwork. My bike is up here. Let's go check it out. This is it right here. Let's go home now. Just kidding, guys. We're ready for it to be done. But Chris said he wants to get one of these, right? <laughs> so I got the keys, got the paperwork. Malcolm Smith. Shout out to my boy right here. Scott, right? Scott, yes. Scott. He helped me out. And Jonathan, too. This is the bike, guys. What do you guys think? And obviously, we're going to take it off-road a little bit, but it's mine now. All right, well, it's time for me to ride it home. This thing is sick. I'm just riding right here in the parking lot. Bigger difference than the 250 for sure. So what I ended up getting is a Husqvarna Smart Pillin 401. So it's a 370cc motorcycle, I believe. So far, it's been great. I drove it on the freeway. We've gone up the mountains, around town. It's perfect. It's a perfect bike for me. If you guys want to walk around let me know and i'll make one the reason i went with this bike though is because it does have dirt tires i do plan on taking it on trails so do expect some content on that but the main reason why i got it is because the jeep i spend like 50 bucks minimum every like four or five days and that adds up so i was spending what like 200 something dollars a month and the payment on the motorcycle it's it's like 170 so when I'm saving on gas, it's pretty much paying the bike off and it's $7 to fill up the tank. So it's not even that bad. And that's honestly the reason why I got it. It's my new daily and I wanted something that wouldn't break down on me. So I hope you guys understand why I got it and why you're gonna see some more of it. But now let's go see what bike Chris got. We picked up my bike and we came to check out some for Chris. And what happened, man? Oh, Robert, Chris. What, Chris what happened? Chris picked up a CB500 today. <laughs> Chris picked up a bike, and right now he's going to put the license plate on. We're almost ready to go. And where are we at? A Farm Motorsports in Redlands. Visit Robert. He'll take care of you. He was nice to us. And yeah, let's go put the license plate on. Thanks, dude. <laughs> well, that's just us. Nice. Okay. Motorsports. Okay. This is cool. They have so, a downstairs. Yeah. So actually, this is actually one of the cool things is the building is actually over 100 years old, built in the early 1900s. So Redlands is a really old town, right? Redlands is an yeah. old town. Um, this goes downstairs here. Obviously, it comes down to the service. We have the cool sign, Peter Fonda, say what's up. Yeah, this is awesome. This is our entire service department. So you'll see there's a... Uh, oh, yeah. The bikes get worked on and stuff. So the showroom is literally above us right yeah, now. It's right on top of us. That's cool, man. So these redwood beams are actually original to the building. So they're actually over 100 years old as well. No way. And yeah. they still look decent. They still look good. Same up here with these... Uh, I don't know what you would call it, but the support beam. You can the see support. It's like five beams that they would bolt together. Wow. You can't really and, get away with that anymore. And it's still holding together. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, and they keep going all the way down. Yep. Awesome, man. 500. There it is. Let's show it off, man. And I think this is a sick bike, especially for him. It has a lower seat, um, 500, so good power for the freeway. And it just looks badass. And it matches his Jeep. So oh, yeah, let's put the license plate on. He's going to help us out by driving it home, actually. Nice. Chris, how do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> you ready to ride together or what? I've been ready to ride together. And tell them what we were talking about at the beginning of the year, man. At the beginning of the year, we both said that we're both getting bikes. And we actually did it. So yeah. we're just uh, waiting for Chris's stuff to finish up. And then I'm editing some video stuff. But we'll be riding soon. Thanks, HYR. <laughs> if you guys got all the way to the end, let me know if you guys ride a motorcycle and if you do, what kind of motorcycle you ride. Anyways, huge shout out to Jonathan from Malcolm Smith Motorsports and also Scott because he took care of me the next day. And also for Chris at HYR, shout out to Robert. He helped us out a lot from 
choosing the perfect bike for Chris to all the paperwork and all that. So thanks to those guys and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.